Wasn't going to do a vlog today, um, just been a busy day. But I'm going to do one, I will do one. So today, tonight we're going to go and stay in a year. Saturday night, typically, typically, typically for us is we have a treat night. So that's the night um, we can perhaps have a beer, not the kids, me and Kath. Um, we do pizzas for the kids, so we make our own pizzas and um, boy, all watch a film together, something, uh, you know, some family type film. Tonight's no different, apart from we're going to sleep in a yurt tonight. We don't often get to sleep in a yurt because the summer is so busy with lots of people coming. Um, so, so we're going to stay in a yurt tonight. So first of all, I've got to make the pizza bases for this evening. It is, uh, okay, I'm not starting cooking segments, but today we're doing pizzas. So the way I do it is we use a uh, KitchenAid to mix it with. So what I do is measure Okay, so first of all, I get the yeast working by basically adding the yeast to a cup, adding some lukewarm water. Give it a mix with a, uh, with a fork. It's Saturday our treat day and the hunters are out and about so if you hear the dog barking in the background it's just Willow because she just barks at all the hunters in all the crazy cars so what I'm going to do I'm going to measure 600 grams of flour this is enough I think for a family of four Then I get a bowl and just take a scoop out like this. So then I add all the water and then add the. Fr so when I mix with the fr with the uh, yeast, it'll become really liquidy first. So it's like a sloppy, floury water thing, and then I add the yeast afterward. Uh, add the rest of the flour later to um, to thicken it up. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, KitchenAid mixer. Best mixers, they're just good. All we're gonna do is just add the mixing tool to start with. And we'll add the yeast water. This has been um, fermenting now for about 10 minutes. Give it an extra stir, make sure I get everything off the bottom. Add this. I'm gonna kill the dog in a minute. See, it's um, really gloopy and not very pizza base like. I'm going to add some salt, a little pinch of sugar, and some olive oil. So then we're just going to add the flour. Oh, we're actually going to, now it's mixed together, we're actually going to change the, uh, the head from a uh, mixing um, tool to a dough making tool. What's a dough making tool called? Oh, a dough hook, not it's called. Not a dough mixing tool. So that'll get thicker now. So we mix that for about 10 minutes and then I take it out and mix it a little bit by hand. While the pizza dough is mixing, I'm just going to see the kids who are very excited about staying in the yurt. So I'll just go and see what they're doing and apparently they're setting up the dens and all sorts of things. This is what happens in the summer is that the kids are so excited about the year and then they discover everything else so we have a campfire every night with marshmallows and the kids just basically come here and just disappear for the whole time they're here because our two little kids Daisy and Olive, they just run around, take them to the fairy garden, take them up the, the paths, then the adults will take them to the river, they'll build dams, they'll build dens, they'll do bushcraft lighting fires. 
making spoons, making walking sticks, making bows and arrows, so they, everyone has such a good time. So tonight's quite nice because we're going to uh, actually experience in the year ourselves, so we don't really have much chance for that, but it should be good fun. So each year has a name. This is called Cherry Blossom Year. It's a good year, it's, it's really high off the ground, so we can actually fit a uh, hammock underneath it. So it's like on stilts. So that's that. And the kids are inside. That's the toilet thing at the back, so yeah, each year has its own toilet, so you don't need to share. And this is the yurt. What are you playing, girls? I don't know. Okay. We're drawing, and that's what we are playing. Drawing! No way. I'm a leader, I'm a leader, I'm a leader, I'm a leader. So this is the adult's bed. And each kid has their own bed. Fits into about four kids in it. We've had more in, but four's pretty busy, actually. Ah! Well, just take it off. Okay, gonna go and check the pizza bases. Good job. What are you doing? Pizza night. What? Pizza night. Yeah, I'm coming. Hey guys, look who's here. You idiot. It's a ship. Children, start paddling. I fly. Mommy, hi. Here you go. It's alright, Paul. No, you got to. Because I want to have one. We're going to sleep it in. Adieu and bye. Now my turn, my turn, my turn. I did my good expression. <laughs> ah. Hello, I'm Olive. And look at my bed. There's lots of, lots of dudes. And look, first we put in a blanket here. And we then we put a blanket inside. We then we can put the blanket around us. And then do all the blanket so we can we can cool you up and get in the sleeping bag. But how do we go in? Girls, did you have a good time in the year? Yeah. There we go. So that's your place. Sometimes I can go. Sunday morning, just stayed in a year, back in the house, and we're doing pancakes. Olive, that's a bit of a disaster pancake, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm going to leave a little bit when it's no, too hot. No, because we'll give you some here if it's not cooked properly. It's best to, it's best to uh, put, it in the, put it in the pig bowl. So the pig must be hungry because that's why he's escaped. What are you doing now, mate? What are you doing out here? You're supposed to be in your house. Right, come on. Piggy. Things like that happen, it's definitely ready for the chop. Trying to get them back in there is a nightmare sometimes. So what I've got to do now is check the whole area and see if the fenty that is fusing out or they're just escaping from somewhere. So, okay, go and do that now. Okay, just taking Willow for a walk to the bridge. So the bridge is basically just down the road from us and we just go for a walk down there and um, just a quick uh, there and back for the dog. Then later on we'll perhaps take her for a, a bigger walk and stuff. So she needs walking really three times a day. Definitely three times a day. So, um, so it is Sunday today. So again, a lot of hunters around. But I haven't seen that many today. But they'll be round either, they either come round first thing in the morning or last thing at night. So it's obviously going to be last thing at night. Okay, it was good fun staying in the year last night. Um, 
it's always good to um, I always used to find wherever we worked I worked in a health club once and if you don't actually use the facilities you don't actually know what's wrong or or what needs to be improved so it's always good to uh, yeah, go and sleep inside the yurts because you don't always see what needs to be improved unless you're actually there. So I often go and have a shower in the in the uh, the yurt showers just to think, you know, just to think, do I need a coat hook there or a chair there or is the showers hot enough and things like that. So I often go and have a shower in the uh, the showers out of season just to just to see if there's anything that we can improve on because we want everything to be absolutely perfect for the guests and then also um, with the yurts it's good to stay in the yurts to think are people too hot in the summer are people too cold or and the kids uh, tried out the beds as well and it's really good fun okay got a bit of a crazy week now the rest of the week um, tomorrow I'm going off to somebody's um, restaurant just down the road um, because they've got two pigs as well I'm going to help them uh, kill them okay so a bit of practice for me it's not the nicest thing to do in the world but I'm hopefully gonna it's a beautiful place where we go um, Catherine's not coming just me so it's a beautiful place and we often have lunch and um, but in the meantime in the morning we'll have to kill the pigs and then the day after We'll have to, uh, I'll help them uh, butcher them, which is uh, really interesting. Really interesting. So, uh, so that should be good fun as well. So, uh, exciting week this week. So, yeah. It's uh, October now, isn't it? October the 2nd or October the 1st? I'm not sure. But these sunny days are amazing. Just, just really nice and warm. So it's worth just, uh, once the sun comes out, just sometimes just sit there and uh, enjoy the sun while it's still here before the snow comes in the winter so the leaves are all starting to fall off the trees now so um, it's nice just to sit here and relax in the sun for five minutes <laughs> Okay, there's some horses up here for those horse lovers. Um, the only downside is uh, these horses are actually for eating, okay? Our mare breeds horses uh, for eating. So, um, never ate horse before. I've had kangaroo, I've had um, crocodile, uh, ostrich, but never uh, ate any horse. There's actually... Um, there's, there's actually a um, stall on the market, our local market, that sells horse meat. Just sells horse meat. So um, I'll take you up to the horses to show you the horses. Um, it's a bit of a shame because they're kept in the, they, obviously they don't want them to run around too much. So they're kept in a really small area. So they are massive, the horses. I don't know what sort of breed they are. Um, but these horses are are really big so I don't know if that's because they're kept in a small pen or all horses are the same don't really know much about horses okay so we're just on the other side of these, these trees so I'll just go and walk up to them and I can show you what they look like okay they're the horses I can't really get that close to them actually it's all fenced off so I don't want to get an electric shock and the dog's a bit scared of them so um I'll try another day. They don't look that big those ones. And there's some babies as well, so interesting. Do you think it's gonna rain?